everybody. This video brought to you by the Team Serious Tri Club and Roca, the best swim gear on the planet. I want to talk to you about the three keys to swimming fast for triathlon. Remember, triathlon, most of the time, 99% of the time is done in the open water. So we are all about a fast stroke rate. That helps you deal with chop more effectively. It helps you to be much more efficient in open water. That fast stroke rate also will allow you to be able to get on the quicker people's feet and stay there. So quick stroke rate, but keep in mind that doesn't mean a short finish. Quick stroke rate with a powerful finish beyond your hips, that is the key to putting together your best open water swim. Number two, you'll see a lot of people that have a really shallow stroke. They make a great catch in the front, but then they come up here, they bring the water right underneath them. Remember, when we make a catch, and I really like a deep catch, I like you to come into the water, not necessarily reach out long in front of you, but reach out long below you, and you're able to catch all this water here. It also activates your lat muscle, which is the muscle we want to use the most in swimming. Then you grab all this awesome, powerful water. You want to hold on to it, so stay deeper on your pole and finish strong beyond your hip. So, the key there, just to reiterate, is you don't want to catch up here and be shallow in your pole because you're letting all the water go out to the side. You want to catch deep in the water and hold on to that. Hold on to all this water and carefully bring it back beyond your hip. The third thing is, what's the third thing? Bilateral breathing. Uh, the bilateral breathing. So, the reason why I like bilateral breathing, now I'm not really one to talk because when I was racing, I only uh, breathed to my right side. But especially when you're doing longer distances like half Ironmans and Ironman, so important to maintain that balance in your body. I've seen athletes get out and have back problems on the bike because the whole swim for 3.8K, they're breathing to one side and that creates an imbalance. So that's the number one reason. But number two, in order to be sighting and to go around boonies no matter what direction the race course takes you, when you're able to breathe bilaterally effectively, that you're gonna be much more efficient going around the boonies and sighting properly so that you swim just the race distance and not more. So Rebecca Keith, the amazing Rebecca Keith, is going to demonstrate. So I'll demonstrate first uh, the long, long stroke that you don't want. Or do you want me just to demonstrate the fast stroke first? Let's just demonstrate what the right do. way. Okay. She's going to demonstrate what we should do, and that is a faster stroke rate. Now, don't get me wrong; it might be a faster stroke rate, but it's no less powerful. So you don't want to be gliding out front. Basically, as soon as your hand comes in, you want to catch and you want to pull, and you want to be pulling really deep so that your hand goes as deep as possible with your elbow up. Activating that lat muscle, okay guys? And you can see that she's still finishing really powerfully beyond her hip. So faster stroke rate, nice deep catch. She's holding on to the water and pulling deep through the water and finishing strong beyond her hip. So she is demonstrating here both stroke rate and depth of pull. And she's really activating those lat muscles. That's the biggest muscle we use when we're swimming. So you want to be able to engage it properly. So Beck, let's demonstrate the bilateral breathing. Okay. In your experience, why do you feel it's important to breathe bilaterally? Uh, when I have my speed suit on and breathe to one side, my lower back got really locked up. But also, this arms. Um, Buoy siding. If the buoys are on the right hand side and you're only breathing to the left, you're gonna go way off course. Exactly. I'm um, also show incorporating a head up to breathe, like siding on the way, so you can see how you can incorporate um, siding for the buoys into your stroke. You actually don't want to breathe when your head's forward, you want to breathe to the side, but you lift your head to look. I'll do a bit of that too. You just motion. leave your eyes kind of level with the water and then you take the breath up afterwards. You turn your head to the side and take the breath up. Now 
Nice. Thank you, Beck. Great job. Everybody, get after doing things technically correct for triathlon. Remember, triathlon is different to pool swimming. So get after it, focus on these things, and you will find your swim improving drastically. So swim fast, swim with Roca, and love every minute of it. Thanks, Beck.